Welcome back to PlayStation Underground, uh, and I've got Zach Miner here and Ryan Clements, and I'm Sid Schumann, and we are checking out Wolfenstein, the new Colossus. Wolfenstein 2. Is it Wolfenstein 2? I believe it's Wolfenstein 2. Wolfenstein 2. 2. Is it, can you confirm the what? The new Colossus. Is it a numeral or a Roman numeral? It is a Roman numeral. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we, we just got a, we're taking a look at, this is, I think, the first mission from the game here. I believe uh, so. This is all stuff that uh, Sid and I played through a couple weeks ago and captured some footage. Um, so I thought it'd be good to share it here with Ryan, who has not seen much of this game yet. I'm a newbie. That's right. This is from Machine Games. They did the original title uh, a few years ago that was quite the cult hit uh, yes. er early on on PS4. Awesome game. And Zach, I think it's safe to say we thought this looked real good. We did. We did. We um, it, we started off there and you, you saw just kind of the, uh, like the difficulty selection screen, which you know, it's a difficulty selection screen. Obviously, there's a <laughs> great heritage uh, in the Wolfenstein games of that. But I feel like it sets the tone of this game just quite well right off the top. It does. And and you know what else sets the tone well is the fact that you're fighting in a wheelchair right now. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Um, Th this is me, by the way, isn't it? I'm I, pretty sure. I think that this is you. <laughs> I think this is you. I, I loved the, like, warning shot at the beginning. <laughs> you're like, I don't know if that guy's all the way down. Uh, he's down. Um, but yeah, this is, so you wake up uh, several months, I believe, after the events of the first Wolfenstein. And if you played through uh, the New Order, uh, that first, the first machine games, Wolfenstein, uh, then you are aware that uh, BJ gets pretty messed up at the end there. Um, so hence you waking up, um, the Nazis have assaulted uh, this kind of boat that uh, you and your crew are hiding out on. And you have to take matters in your own hands. Thankfully, um, the boat that you're in was uh, designed with accessibility in mind. It sure was. So, uh, you know, as well as an array of lethal traps that we'll see a little <laughs> later. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, now, this th notice this health meter ticking back down to 50. That's an interesting challenge here early in the game. Y right. Exactly. So, you know, your uh, obviously your uh, your full array of BJ abilities are, are not quite there yet. Uh, so uh, you can like you can overcharge your health, but it's always gonna fall back to fifty. It's a, it's a little bit difficult. It's tough. Um, yeah, and, and 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 this is really just an interesting sequence in this game because the physicality you're sort of traversing through this environment. You you, you remarked after we played Zach that uh, just just the feeling of of you know like at one point you fall out of the chair and you're like clambering back in. It's really just really well made game. I don't know any other way to put it. Definitely, and um, it looks gorgeous too. I mean. The, the first games, the, both the New Order and also the, the downloadable campaign were both gorgeous. But Indeed. I and think they're, they're going along now, with that tradition. Machine Games, incredible mechanics, incredible shooting mechanics, but also great storytellers. Yes, great storytellers. Uh, the, the writing in just kind of the small chunks that we saw was really impressive, um, as were the performances. Um, you know, this is kind of... <laughs> <one> of <the> <laughs> <laughs> I heard you giggling when that... What is going on? I remember we were playing, we both were playing at the same time, Zach and I, and I heard him giggle when that happened, and I was like, yeah, I get What just happened to those guys? It's like a microwave oven Holy trap. smokes. Yeah. I hope they have a lot of warning signs, like, put up in place. For the bad guys? Yeah, for the but well, you know, just for staff of the boat. <laughs> I mean, right? You don't want someone to accidentally wander in there on their lunch break. Well, I think this guy's telling us about how he's rigged this whole place up with a bunch of these to keep those mean Nazis from taking over. So okay. we're going to learn a little bit more about all of that okay. in just a minute. Do we do we know this character from the original game? Yes. yes. The gentleman with glasses? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that. It's awesome. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> terrible! <laughs> so, uh, they, they def there's definitely a dark sense of humor at work in the in these games. I would you, th say. you think so? I think so. Just maybe a touch. Here just we go. Just a light sense of humor. Now, just just details I love. Look at the the delicate uh, lattice work of blood splattered on the knees and on the the forearms. There. Oh, yeah. I mean, little details like that really go a long way. Not careful. Yeah. No. We have uh, flashed ahead a little bit, and, and, and BJ's been through some stuff <laughs> yeah. since the last time we saw him. Um, but the like the it, it's fascinating that the game starts you off by controlling BJ in a wheelchair. I mean, it kind of in some ways goes without saying, but I it's almost like tank controls, mm -hmm. like you're playing like you know the original Resident <laughs> Evil or something. Oh. Um, <laughs> but I, as you were mentioning, said like uh, Machine Games does a really great job of like modeling hands and modeling feet and making it feel like you are really kind of in, you're making it feel like you are BJ, right? You're, yeah. 
Um, you're, you know, touching and feeling different pieces of the environment here. Look um, at this. I'm, I'm like totally blown away. Look at this clamber action right here. I mean, right. that's second I, to none. See, I, I do want to. Okay, well, do we need to talk about Let, this? Let's, talk, so about let's this. talk about this. So, um, there were some skill trees in uh, Wolfenstein One. It feels like they've been fleshed out big a little time, bit. Big time. Um, all of these, uh, similar to the first game, are kind of based on um, how you're playing. So, if you're playing a certain way, you're going to be able to invest in those. That diesel craft work there is like kind of a grenade launcher. Oh, that's so fun! It's yep. such a fun weapon. Lots of different ways to modify your weapons to your mm -hmm. heart's content. This is obviously my footage since I went for the suppressor. Mm -hmm. um, trying to go for a more stealthy route. Um, so here we're flashing ahead. So here we are on American soil. Um, so we're going ahead to another mission where we're in Roswell, New Mexico, and we have to infiltrate a military base that has been taken over by the Nazis. And this scene was pretty shocking yeah. uh, when we played it. What's in that? Uh, what's in that container you're carrying there, Zach? So that is a nuclear bomb, Sid. Oh, what? Um, <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Are you serious? Yeah. So this coming up on here, this was one of the more kind of impressive story sequences that um, mm -hmm. I, I've seen in a, in a long time, actually. It's it's right out of. It feels like it's out of a Tarantino movie. Yes. In a good way, yes. not in the sort of obvious shallow way, but in a good way. The tension, yep. uh, something it seems like it could have been an inglorious bastard. It's, it's yeah. uh, really well done. Take a look, Gander, here. I'm just going to set this uh, highly explosive device on the counter. No big deal. If you guys aren't pulling my leg. That's actually just a fire extinguisher. We're just kidding. <laughs> oh. Wait, really? No, no it's, okay. a, it's a new. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kid, mind your own business. Oh, yeah, this is from the trailer. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh! Bitte schön. Danke. Good day, man. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. <laughs> if so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. I will say strawberry is my favorite flavor. I recognize your face. Max. Very Aryan face it is too. Ooh. Notice how the TV in the you back station is one? shifted. Oh mm. man, you come, I did not notice oh, that. Oh, vielen Dank. <laughs> so that's your face on all those posters on mm. that TV. Mm -hmm. Now you, show me your identification papers, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just book it out of them. <laughs> Clonk him on the head with that fire pull, extinguisher. Pull the man on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. It's just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more German. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Are you from here, John Smith? Huh? I read here that you operate out of Station 6. What is the location of Station 6? I'm <laughs> unfamiliar with this station. So am I. You know, I think this guy might be a Nazi. Speak up! Commandant, Sie werden vom Oberkommando verlangt. War das nicht Zeit? Trink grad noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Commandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, Sie umgehend zu sehen. He drank that way too fast. It's not healthy. An odd major brain freeze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should just pass out. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. My God. Oh my God, that's pistol. Pistol. Last one, shut the fucking front door. So, man, I was captivated. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, now we're jumping ahead to um, kind of a, a train that's part of, that's connected to this military bunker that we had to uh, jump in. And um, this is kind of one of the bigger combat sequences that, that we played here. This is uh, myself playing. And if you played the, uh, as you can tell from the stealthy <laughs> nature. Um, I was going to say to the twitchy movement of the camera compared sure. to Sid's slow, methodical approach. Well, you know, there are, there are times for both of those. Um, <laughs> you're going to notice right off the bat if you played the first game that that signal detected at the top of your screen there. Um, once again, there's 
kind of this mechanic where there are commanders um, that will uh, turn on the alarm or, oops, <laughs> missed, was a little bit low on my hatchet throw there, um, <laughs> that they'll call in reinforcements. But of course, if you can take them out first before anyone's notified, then you're in good shape. So that's what I was trying to do. And Zach, I want to point out that this isn't just any old train. No. This is a rocket train. This is a rocket train. I, think, I believe it's a nuclear engine. Nuclear. Oh. It's pronounced nuclear. Oh. Lots of uh, Tom. Oh. That's oh. no good. That's no good. And the time for stealth is the end. Time? Well, let's see if I can still kind of maintain my hatchet use here. Let's see if I can take out this alarm. Um, this, unfortunately, um, you know, it perhaps is not shown the, the, the best here, but the level design on this train was astonishing. Like this is, you're seeing essentially kind of one lane that you can go through on this, but you can climb underneath the train. There we go. That's no, no more Jeez. alarm from you. Um, you can go underneath the train. You can climb on top of the train. They're kind of like, obviously, the underneath, main pathways. Yeah. Yeah. Underneath, in, or above. It's amazing. Uh, and, and I took a totally different route here. You're, you're just doing this all wrong in my book. Well, but, uh, but you're still getting results, so I'll let it slide. Yeah, so yeah. That, that commander you took out, tell yes. me a little bit about how they work. Yeah, so the commanders, um, they are kind of constantly broadcasting the signal. Um, I don't know kind of exactly where they are, but there was that little icon that points me in their general direction. And so if... You know, you know, the guns start firing off and they hear gunfire, then they're going to start calling in waves and waves of reinforcements. Um, and they're actually going to react to where you move throughout the level. So they'll run away from they'll you. They'll run away from you, um, try and preserve themselves so they can keep calling in reinforcements. So here's a little taste of you, Sid. Um, oh, yeah. See, this is now. Right, yeah. <laughs> right off uh, <laughs> boom, boom. a slightly different tact. This um, shotgun, by the way, is so good. I love the shotgun in this game. Totally. And, and even though you barely saw me kind of using the, the arsenal at your disposal here. Look at those bikes, by the way. What's something out of a circus? Um, the gun play is so satisfying. And, of course, the incredible dual wielding system is back. It's a pooch. Uh, yep, there are some, some terrible pooches here. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, the way that I played the first game was really try to take down those commanders first, go down super stealthy, and... Um, they're way more brutal, and they feel a lot smarter than they were in the first game. Yeah, and I'm using uh, an assault rifle here uh, with armor-piercing bullets, so the, the particularly strong against the armored enemies, the robots. The robots I found to be just some of the most uh, lethal adversaries in this game. Definitely, and, and you, have to, you have to get pretty creative with uh, kind of how you take them down. I don't think you guys are paying customers on this train, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of no-ticket references. Um, so kaboom, we're just, kaboom. We're just kind of wrapping up here a little bit. Ryan, do, what are your kind of thoughts getting a look at this? Uh, it makes me want to go back and actually finish the original games oh, yeah. because I shamefully have not completed the story mode, and I, I've always wanted to, even it's though now I know that kind of what happens. Yeah. So Now we're seeing me play here, oh. and, I think, <laughs> and I think I'm playing much better than Zach did. <laughs> who, do you, who do you think played better? <laughs> Email us at blogcastatplaystation.com. I agree. I agree, Sid. Or you're you're right. You're that. always right. <laughs> uh, so we're just wrapping up here. Um, just a few more seconds to go. We're kind of pulling into this train station. And I thought this was really interesting. I did this completely differently. Mm. Um, where you can, you like, you know, gradually brought the train to a halt. I just plowed it straight into oh, uh, really? the wall. <laughs> and <laughs> it let everyone know that I was uh, that I was showing up. I didn't know that could be different. This um, What a game. What a game. So um, Wolfenstein 2, uh, the new Colossus, is looking great. And out this October on PS4.